You don't like that uh, adjective? Ruthless? Yeah. Oh, I think it's true. I was back in West Virginia. You spoke about West Virginia. I was back in West by God, Virginia. Those wonderful, wild, beautiful <laughs> West, West by Virginia God hills. Virginia. Yeah. I was back there last week. And my uncle was in the hospital. And one of the nurses ran up to me. And she said, don't you dare soften him up. Keep him mean, honey. I like him mean. <laughs> I think there's something to that. Maybe what part of West Virginia? What are you all? Dude? I don't know. What part of West Virginia? Yeah. I'm from the northern part, uh, Morgantown. Hill country? Hill country. Mm -hmm. Coal mining country. Hill country. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah I, I like them mean. Maybe someday before they all go off into the reruns in the sky, that all you ruthless ones will get together on one show, you know? <laughs> Joan Collins, all of you, and destroy each other. Yeah. You know? Well, I think uh, you talk J.R. J.R. Yeah. Maybe I could get mean enough to go over and visit Dynasty and Catherine Austenberg. That's what I'd like to do. <laughs> and what would the wife say about that? Well, she would hang me from the nearest tree. <laughs> oh, she, she was, she'd she say, go ahead. Take the dogs with you and the cats and all the children and everything. They're all yours. <laughs> well, that's what she <laughs> yeah, does. That's what they do. That's what yeah. they do. Yeah. Is she West Virginia? She's from West Virginia. It's sort of an adult community. It's the South has risen and come to Napa. <laughs> I love it. I wish we filmed here all the time. I think it's gorgeous. This is virtually my, the best time of the year for me because it's so pretty up here. Let me look at it. This is South Impress on location. The show actually packs up the crew and trucks the glittering cast to the countryside for six weeks every year. The settings are lavish and extras are hired from the neighborhood. The Rolls Royces are kept sparkling clean for their appearances and the food is a truly major production. Well, today we have about 140 pounds of short ribs, about 95 pounds of chicken, 50 pounds of corn, 80 pounds of mashed potatoes, 20 pounds of gravy, and about 35 pounds of sole. And when Cesar Romero takes a break, does he have lunch catered? <laughs> no. I'm enjoying it. I'm enjoying working with Jane Wyman. Because we're old, old friends. We've known each other for 50 years. Yeah, little Greg got the potatoes. <laughs> It's a hell of a place for an interview. <laughs> Tourists also show up. Since Falcon Press started shooting here, the winery has become a major tourist attraction. And why not? Where else can you sip wine with your favorite star? And have the stars developed a connoisseur's taste for wine? No, it's taken me five years to figure out I hate wine. I mean, <laughs> It's probably going to shoot me here. <laughs> well, you do find out a little bit about wine from your up here, but um, I'm not really much of a drinker, so... I even took a two-week wine tasting course, and I still can't tell a jug from a bottle. <laughs> <laughs> what about these big city slippers? What does the entire Falcon Crest cast do at night? They hit the hottest spot in Napa Valley. <laughs> Falcon Crest team due to the opposition next season. Yeah, it does. Now the character of Richard Channing on Falcon Crest is an evil but sensitive villain, and he's played by the charming and sensitive actor. Please welcome David Selby. Hi. <laughs> Lovely and 
introduction. My goodness, I'll just stay here all day. Well, it sure looks like you're having fun up in Napa Valley, too. See that? What a lousy bowler I am. <laughs> now, after four going on five years on Falcon Crest, yeah. tonight, what makes the show continue to work after all that time? Well, we have lovely characters in it, like Richard Channing and uh, Jane. Uh -huh. We have lovely people like Jane Wyman. Uh, this year we have, uh, you saw Cesar Romero. Didn't he look he, he's he incredible? He looks wonderful. Man, he is wonderful. And this year we have uh, Morgan Fairchild. Uh, we have uh, from Hill Street Blues a young man named Ken Olin. Uh, we have Apollonia Capero uh, from Princess Purple Rain. So those are some of the new characters that we have on. So I think, you know, you keep these shows moving forward. Don't, you know, keep the stories going. Uh, There's something that fascinates me. In your description and the bios and all the press and the hoo-ha that goes out there, everybody, yeah. you're always described as evil but sensitive. Now, what does it, what is an evil sensitive guy? Is that a guy that when he stabs somebody back, sends them flowers? Or what, what is that about you? Yeah, you hit him with a velvet glove. I don't know, McClane. Uh, you know, if you did the old thing, if you're doing heroes, you know, you put a little dark in them. If you're doing the, if you're doing the uh, guy that has the black hat on, you, you know, you put a little wh white in them. You, you, so that they're just not all one or the other. Okay. You know, yeah. got a, I know you're playing um, opposite Morgan Fairchild. You yeah. mentioned her name, and she's a lovely lady. We have a little clip here that we'd like to, to show you. All right. So if you just look right here with us. It's on Tonight's right Show, right? Yes, yeah, Tonight's Show. Tonight's Show. Hello, Mr. Jan. Who are you? I was expecting J.J. Roberts. I am J.J. Roberts. Jordan Jennifer Roberts. I suppose that other J.J. you're referring to is my father. Uh, he decided against becoming your attorney. He's not as smart as his reputation makes him out to be. He's only the very best. I know it, you know it, and Lord knows he knows it. However, he also happens to be very busy, and I heard he was going to turn you down. So I'm applying for the position. On the show, Maggie is married to Chase, and you play Richard Channing. All right. Now, at the end of the final episode last uh, season, just after you kissed Maggie, there uh, was a terrific explosion. What a kiss. What a kiss. <laughs> <laughs> now, obviously, the charming Richard Channing survives, but do you wind up breaking up Maggie and Chase's marriage? Well, I try. When I can't let you know what happens, I wouldn't be fair, right? Sure. I mean, he likes me. <laughs> uh, no, I, Richard likes uh, Maggie a lot. Mm -hmm. And uh, he'd probably give anything to have a situation like Maggie and Chase have. Whether he would give anything to have Maggie or not, I don't know. He's just sitting there. He's watching how he's going to get out of here. Evil, charming man. Oh, dancing. Dancing. That you see those he's going to tell you, but he charms the daylights out of you and makes you think, well, then we'll just have to watch it tonight. <laughs> <laughs> dancing in his chair and out of the question. Good. Right. Tonight at 10 o'clock on CBS. Uh, Got to get that in. Okay. Well, we'll be watching. Yeah. Thanks for joining us with it. Okay. Come, don't go away. Coming up next.